welcome you all to ILO Pharmacology. I am Dr. Padmanabha. Today we will see about the uses of dopamine and the action of dopamine based on the doses as well as the on which receptor they are going to act. So coming to dopamine. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter as all of you know that so it acts at different receptors depending upon the concentration of the drug in the plasma so at the lower dose it has got more sensitivity towards d1 receptor which is present in the renal as well as mesenteric and cerebral blood vessel where it causes vasodilation by increasing the cyclic AMP and also at the lower dose D1 receptor present in the proximal fibular cell gets activated leading to natural uresis. So this natural uresis effect may be helpful in case of CHF and uh, at moderately high doses apart from it acting on the d1 as well as it releases noradrenaline also mainly acts on beta 1 receptors so all of you know that beta 1 receptor is present in the mainly in the cardiac muscle so mainly it increases the contractility of the myocardium with no significant tachycardia so that means it will increase the inotropic action without any significant chronotropic action at the moderate doses thereby it can be used in case of cardiogenic shock at the higher doses, it mainly acts on alpha-1 receptor where all of you know that alpha-1 receptor is present in the blood vessels. So, activation of alpha-1 receptor will cause vasoconstriction. So, it will lead to vasoconstriction of the renal blood vessels also leading to decrease in the renal blood flow leading to the decrease in the urinary output. So the route of administration is through slow IV infusion. So low dose is 2 to 5 micrograms per kg per minute. Moderate dose that is 5 to 10 micrograms per kg per minute. And high dose between 11 to 20 micrograms per kg per minute it predominantly acts on the beta 1 receptors. And concentration is more than 20 micrograms per kg per minute it mainly acts on the alpha 1 receptors and two main things you should remember when you administer dopamine is you have to monitor the blood pressure as well as you have to have a check on rate of urinary output rate of urinary output thank you